More than 100 angry parents, teachers and pupils marched through Bristol today in protest against City Council plans to close their schools. They believe small primary schools are an easy target in, proposed 46 million pound, in a proposed £46 million shake-up. City councillors insist some closures will be necessary if standards of education are to be improved. Patrick O'Hagan reports. Closing schools is emotive stuff. In the next five years, a huge overhaul of primary education is planned in Bristol. Not everyone will be happy. Bristol City Council has £46 million to spend, and under the new proposals, there's bound to be winners and losers. Three schools are earmarked for closure, and a lot of those are represented by the parents and teachers behind. There will be 10 newly built schools, 39 schools in Bristol and the surrounding area will be amalgamated and 18 will be refurbished. But what parents and teachers are concerned about is that accountancy and money is driving this, not the best interests of pupils. I won't ever see my friends again and, and I'll just be really sad, so will they, because it's, it's such a small school but it's, it's, it's really good. Every child really does matter because um, they get such a good education, they're loved, they're cared for, and in a bigger school they wouldn't be cared for as much because people wouldn't know their name, people wouldn't know their background. There are some schools that want to amalgamate, there are some schools that want to federate, there are schools out there that want to make efficiency savings and that's fine. The council should be looking for that and encouraging that. Um, but we also need to bear in mind that Bristol is projected to grow by a third in population in the next 20 years. Um, we're going to need more school places in the future. So now is exactly the wrong time to start closing schools. Councillors insist they're listening. Save our school! They say the reorganisation will raise standards, help meet the needs of communities better and be good for pupils. But today's protesters aren't convinced. They say closing good quality schools just because they're small won't help to raise standards. Patrick O'Hagan in Bristol for The West Tonight.